This is a demonstration video on replacing a broken glass on a tank. The tank that I'll be using for the purposes of the demonstration obviously doesn't have a broken glass, but we'll just pretend, um, and is the Tigon Aspire tank, although the same principles would apply to any tank that is able to be disassembled and have the glass replaced. So the first thing you're generally going to want to start with is lay out some paper towel to catch any shards of glass just to try and be safe. Again, always use extreme caution when doing these sorts of things. Broken glass is obviously sharp. I'm wearing these gloves. These ones wouldn't be very effective, but for the purposes of you being able to see what I'm doing, um, these will hopefully work a little bit better. But you're definitely going to want to use something a little thicker that is going to be more puncture resistant while doing this. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove all the extra pieces of the tank, your coil, your airflow base. If there is any liquid left in the tank, try to drain it out if you can, just to make things easier. You may even wish to rinse the tank off if it did get a lot of liquid all over it while it was leaking from the broken glass. That being said, once you've done all of those things and all you have left is the tank section that contains the glass, You'll very carefully want to unscrew the top section and the base section, the two pieces that hold the glass together. In the case of the Tigon tank, there's knurling on either side of the glass that should give you a better grip to be able to unscrew the tank section to give you access to the glass. Now in this case, this glass is obviously all in one piece and not damaged, but in the event that you do have bits of glass that have fallen away and some that are stuck to these seals at both the top and the bottom of any given tank section, you'll want to have something like a tweezers on hand so that you can try to remove any little bits that might have gotten embedded into these seals. Another thing that you'll likely want to do is use that tweezers to remove the seals kind of have to finagle them in there. Be careful that you don't puncture the seals unless you can tell there's been a lot of holes punched in it already. In which case, you might need a little bit less caution when trying to remove the seals. But in this way, you'll be able to pull out any extra shards of glass that are still stuck. It's important to remove those extra shards of glass so that when you install the new glass and tighten everything down, you don't have those grinding even further into your seals and potentially causing leaking issues. After remo removing the seals that keep the glass in place, you'll want to examine them, see if they are damaged. If they are, you'll want to go back to the box that your kit or your tank came in. Every kit and every tank that we sell comes with a spare set of seals if it has a replaceable glass. So you'll want to match up the seal that you're replacing with whichever seal from the pack would be the matching one. When you're removing these seals to try and examine them, try to take note of the orientation of the seal in the seating. Some of them have a unique shape. For example, the seal at the base of this tank has a bit of a wider, flat, uh, wider portion at the bottom. Here, let me see if I can get this on the white background. A wider portion at the bottom and then a taller portion towards the top so that the glass can sit in that little crook there. So make note of the orientation when you're removing the seals so that when you replace them, whether with the new seal or with the same seal being put back in place, you can install them correctly. That's also important, again, to make sure that you don't end up with leaking issues so that the seals will do their job and butt up against the glass where they should. Once you have removed all of the shards of glass and disposed of them, you can go ahead and give everything a good rinse as you would normally just with regular cleaning and maintenance of your tank. Take your new glass, and uh, after replacing the seals of course, take your new glass and nestle it in where it's supposed to go, and simply screw the top and bottom sections back together that hold the glass together in place. And that's it. That's as easy as that.